Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Before we get into our video today, today's video is sponsored by Superspeed Slugger. So we use Superspeed Slugger's overload, underload training bats. This is one right here. We use it with all of our Antonelli baseball teams. We highly recommend that you check them out. Just go to the description box below, click the link there. It's going to take you over to their site and you can check them out there. All right, so let's check out a video here talking about the importance of practicing game speed approach you know I learned a lot of stuff last season uh, I learned you know like you know training slow hitting flips all day and then you're facing you know 95 96 in the game wasn't really working out for me so I tried to you know, you know change my timing test my timing so a lot of like machines a lot of curveball machines a lot of fastballs coming at 100 trying to get short to the ball so really cool stuff here and this is something that I really try to implement into all of our practices where we want to try to simulate the game as much as we possibly can. You want to make practice hard so that the game is easy or easier. And what you see a lot is you see practice which is very, very easy, very, very predictable. And then when you get to the game, the game becomes very, very hard because it's unpredictable and the speed of the game feels really fast when you've been practicing really, really slow. So we like to break our practices up into pretty much two different segments, okay? So there's one part of practice where we're working on our swing, right? And so we'll work, a lot of the things that we talk about in all of our videos, we're spending time working on that. And when we're doing that, We'll do a lot of T work, we'll do a lot of flip work, okay? Because I want the hitters to be in tune with what their body's doing, okay? So that's the part of practice. We do a lot of drills, right? And so we're working on certain things. But there's another part of practice where we're not just working on our swing anymore. Now we're working on hitting, okay? So there's swinging and there's hitting and they're, they're two different things. And when we're hitting, now we're trying to make the practice as hard or harder than the game. And the way you do that is, and the way we do it is a couple different ways. So we use a machine where we can put the, we can put the speed way, way up, right? And so you hear in the video him talking about 100 miles an hour, putting the machine on 100 miles an hour, right? And so we've actually done that before. We've put the machine before the equivalent of about 95 miles an hour, which is way faster than any pitcher we're gonna face. And we don't do this every single time, but we're trying to challenge the hitters, right? And so we'll do that. We'll put, it, we'll put the machine on breaking balls that are way better than any breaking ball we're ever gonna see, right? We'll try to put the pitching, we'll put the pitching machine on an angle. So a lot of times you'll see the pitching machine play straight ahead. Well, if I'm facing a righty or a lefty, it's not coming right at me, right? It's coming on more of an angle. So we put the machine on angles. Um, put the machine up a little bit so you can try to get more realistic ball flight where the ball's actually coming down instead of a machine that's lower and the ball's just coming straight ahead, right? So now we're simulating again game type stuff. We're simulating game ball flight. We'll do batting practice, right, where I'm throwing, but I'm not just laying a ball in there, okay? I'm, I bring the screen up, and I'm throwing hard. I'll also mix in different pitches. So now we're working on plate discipline. We're working on recognizing, reading and recognizing pitches, and so I'm throwing breaking balls without the hitter knowing. I'm throwing a fastball, maybe I'm throwing a breaking ball. We'll have games where we keep score, we have teams, and so now we're competing. And so we're doing all these different things. This is just a couple of the things we're doing, but we're trying to make practice harder than the game, okay? And there's so many times where baseball is one of those sports where a lot of people just practice under the game speed, right? And so all you do, a lot of players do in practice, they hit off the tee and they hit flips and then all of a sudden they got to go into a game and they got to hit 92 with sink and a slider at 78 that's filthy. And it's like, good luck. <laughs> 
We haven't practiced that. We haven't practiced anywhere close to that, right? And so you see that a lot in baseball. And you can use this not just for hitting, but you can use this defensively. We've talked about it before, pitching-wise, right? We're always try to make practice as tough or tougher than the game. And, and baseball's kind of been, in my opinion, kind of behind all the other sports. You know, in basketball, it's much easier to practice game speed, right? They do a lot of five-on-five five stuff. They can, they can literally practice game speed. In football, you can practice game speed. In baseball, for some reason, it's always been you don't practice anywhere close to game speed, okay? And I think if you want to start to develop better players and make the game easier, you've got to find ways, creative ways to practice game speed. So in the comment section below, let me know also if you have any ideas for how to make practice game speed or harder. If you have cool creative ways that you currently use with your teams or your player that currently uses, let me know. I'd be really, really interested to hear. Comment in the section below, subscribe to the channel, give it, uh, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Share with all your friends, all that good stuff. And that's all we have. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you watching, and we'll talk to you later.